Hello everyone, welcome to SD Tech and Entertainment. So we are going to start with our first tutorial, which is learning basics of Excels. Okay, to start with basics, we first need to understand, the purpose of Microsoft developing the software like Excel. As you see in the Microsoft Word, if I type a wrong word, it underlines the word below, but if I try to type the wrong word in Excel, it doesn't underline, that is because, Microsoft Word is developed for word-based project, like letter typing, agreements resumes appointments etc., whereas, Excel is developed 90% for all your mathematical issues, cause it understands numbers more than texts. In Excel you can develop spreadsheets, like similar to the old school teachers used to maintain for your percentes, in a register format manually, or a bank employee used to maintain your transaction and your balance manually. Now in a computer era, we don't have to worry of drawing a chart, or lining the columns and rows into register format, instead in Excel you can do that all in just a matter of seconds. But before that, I will teach you how Excel understands the numbers and alphabets and its sequences. As I type alphabet, A, and click and drag the same into below cells, all the cells are copied with alphabets A, cause it understands from the cell we selected and copies the same into others. Ok, now I will type alphabet B in exact below cell, now I will select both the cells so that Excel understands the sequence I want, and rest of the alphabets should get copied automatically. Ok, as you see it doesn't work, it is copying alphabets A B again and again, and not copying A B C D alphabets, that is due to Excel meant to understand only numbers. Now I will do the same with numbers. As I type number 1 in cell, and drag it to the below cells, it can easily copy the same number into below cells. But what if I have to type all the serial number from 1 to 100, so typing manually one by one, will consume your lots of time. Now see what I do, I will type 1 in this cell, and 2 in the exact below cell, and select both the cells, so that Excel understands the sequence of the number we have typed. Now I will just click and drag it into below cells, and as you see, it is not copying 1 and 2 again and again, like how it copied for alphabets, instead, it is providing the next numbers automatically, and your job is done in just 2 to 3 seconds. Ok, now we will try to do some other sequences, with another series of number, this time I will keep a gap of 2 number in between, that is, in first cell I will type 1, and in the below cell I will type 4, since there is gap of two numbers in between. Now similarly I will select both the cells, and drag it down, as you see, it's not repeating the same number, instead it's keeping the same gap of two numbers, and providing the further numbers in below cells. 1, 4, 7, and so on. Hope you understand how Excel is developed to help us work on numbers, this is one very basic thing we should know about Excel, cause even after learning big option like VLOOKUP and INDEX, if you don't understand the sequences how Excel works, then you may not be able to make proper use of those options. Ok moving on, we will now learn to make use of fonts. Just keep a close look on the arrow I am pointing at, cause this is a basics of Excel, and very easy to use, so I will move on as fast as possible. So. This is the list I have copied from my previous file, and we will try to work on this list. Ok, now we will increase the size of the heading names, you can do that by increasing the size from this box, or just click the bigger symbol of A to increase the size of the text, or smaller symbol of A to decrease the size. You can also select the font from this box, as you can see there are multiple options available here. For now, I will stick to Georgia font. Ok, you can also select this I symbol to make your text in italic format, you can see how it looks, and next to that is U symbol which is underline, you can also provide double underline by selecting it like this. Now, we will cover the cells into boxes, with this option as you can see, you can provide the borders from left, right, top and bottom. As I select left side, then only left side will be covered with border, but we want the entire list to cover in border, 
then we will use this all borders option. Ok, as you see now, the entire list is covered into boxes, but if you want to remove the borders, then select those cells from which you want to remove the borders, or select the entire list if you want to remove borders from the entire list, and just go back to the same option again, and select no borders options, there it is, all the borders are gone. But I will keep the borders for now, so I will just undo it back. Ok, so moving on, this are coloring options, if we select the cell we want to color, you can see there are two option, the bucket symbol allows you to color the entire cell, but not the text, whereas the other symbol allows you to just color the text. By selecting more colors, we can have an option to create your own color from here. Ok moving on to the alignment section, you can set the text to whichever direction you want, as you see, after selecting this cell, I press the right option the text moves to right, if I press left option, then text moves to left, if center then center, if top then top, and so on. It works similar like the east-west direction. Next is, wrap text. Suppose, if the size of text is bigger than the size of cell, and most of the text is not visible, as you can see in this cell, then by using wrap option, cell will automatically adjust its size as per text, available within it. Ok, merge. Merge allows you to club two or more cells into one, in other words, it converts the selected cells into one, and occupy all its area, and become one giant cell, it is mostly used to provide the heading on top of every sheet, so it looks in a better way. Ok, so next is, numbers, and formatting options. As you see the symbols, with this option you can provide the currency symbols to the numbers in your list, and there are also multiple currency options available. Same with percentage symbols, just select the cell and press this button. With this arrow symbols, you can control the number of decimals you want to display, just how I am doing it, this button will increase, and this will decrease. That's simple, but please note that these options work only for numbers, and not for words, as you see I am trying to use this option for the cell which has words in it, but it's not working. Ok, now we will try to put filter to our list, just select the heading from where you want to put the filter, and go to sort and filter, and select this option filter. That's it. As you can see, all the heading cells in every column has got the button to it, by clicking that button, in the drop down menu, you can see the list of items which are mentioned in that particular column, if you select east from the menu, as you can see Excel will filter only rows with east. You can also select multiple option within the list at a time, and Excel will show only those rows, which has your selected data. This helps you to sort your data and display it more accurately. By clicking the same button, you can see on top, there are lots of other options available. Suppose, if you want to sort the list in numerical or alphabetical order, for example from ascending to descending, or descending to ascending, by selecting the smallest to largest option or by largest to smallest option, will sort the complete list accordingly. As I just did, you can see the smallest number has reached on top, and along with that, all the other cells within the same row also came on top. Yes. Excel will sort the entire list which is covered within the filter area, and those outside filter will never sort. This can also lead to a serious problem, if you wrongly implement the filter without selecting some columns, that can make your list a complete mismatch. Ok, I will show how the list can get mismatched, I will refilter the entire list, with not selecting some of the cells, and now I try to sort the data again, as you see the only filter data is sorted, and unfiltered remains the same, and now if you try to see the data for respective salesperson, all the unit cost and total is changed from one to another. So always make sure to make proper use of the filter option. Ok, now the last one is, Format Painter, Format means copying the formats of one cell into another, Format Painter does not copy and paste the text, it will just copy the entire format of the particular cell you select. Ok I will show you one example, 
if I select this one cell, and I try to change the size of text, make it bold, change the color of the text as well as background of cell, and now I want another cell to have the similar format, so to do that, I will just select this cell, copy all its format by using Format Painter, then paste all those formats to the cell you wanted, it will copy the size, color, and borders as well. But the text inside the cell always remains the same, and will not get copied. Also note, by single click it will paste the format only one time, if you want if for multiple times, then double click the Format Painter option and then keep pasting it on your desired cells, in which you want to have the similar formats. Ok before finishing, I will show you quickly, how to implement the table, it's very simple, just go to the top header option insert, then below that on the left side you can see, the table picture, just click on it, then it will ask you where is the data you want to select, click on this button, then select the data which you want to convert into table, then click OK. That's it, this is how simple it is. Also make sure that, if you have your heading already in the list, as in this list we already have so we don't want Excel to provide us another heading, so we will just undo it and recreate it again, and this time I will select this option, then press OK. And as you can see, now my table has my own heading. Also note, to create table, you can also use the short key, that is press Ctrl and hit the T button, and the option will pop up. Also note, as soon as you create the table, Excel will provide you an additional option, which is design, as you can see on the header at the arrow I am pointing at, in here, you will get multiple options to design your table, and also if you want to remove the table, just left top corner, there is an option, which is convert to arrange, just select any cell within the table, and click this option, and now it will ask you, if you want to convert the table into normal range, then just click. Yes. Your table is gone, and the option of design from the header is also gone. Ok, before wrapping up with this video, let me tell you that, if you have any project or complicated work related to Excel, then you can tell us, we don't charge any kind of amount, we just do it for free. Alright viewers, we finished with the basic tutorial. I hope you have understood everything from this video, and if still you have any issues, please type in the comment box below. Dear viewers, we are very new to YouTube, and need your support to get as many subscribers as possible. So please hit the red button or subscribe button below the video, after we finish this tutorial, I am going to start working on building Excel servers and application made completely based on Excels. If you have any doubts, or any kind of project related to Excel, then please let me know, I do it for free, I do not charge for my work. You can just type in the comment box below, or click the link of my Facebook page given in the description below, and leave a message in my Facebook inbox. Thank you everyone, and may God bless you.